Islanders, Shark fans, welcome back to what's going to be a quick video today. As you can tell by the title, a photo was taken in West Sussex last week and I want to put it to you guys to have a little bit of a debate about because I'm kind of on the fence. Is it a predatory shark fin? Is it something else? Tell you what, let's get into it. So, welcome to the back of my van. I had plans today, because I'm off shift, to go out and do some free diving. I've been cutting about for probably the last half an hour, 40 minutes, waiting for conditions to improve. It's a bit grey, it's a bit windy, and it's just the visibility would not be great out there. So I've chimmed it off basically, and now I'm in the van. Uh, I was going to do this video anyway this week, so I thought, you know what, let's just do it. Firstly, thanks to a lot of you guys, you all get in touch via email, send me loads of photos, pictures, sightings, stories. I do read them all, thought this one, it's going to be a good debate, I'd like to put it to you guys. But before we get into this, this series of photos that was sent to me by James Venn, let's just quickly look through some shark first dorsal fin terminology. So you've got the leading edge, which is the front of the fin, the origin at the bottom, then you've got the apex at the top. And if you look at certainly the difference between like a poor beagle shark and a great white shark, you can tell that the apex is more rounded on a poor beagle. These are little things I look for when you guys send me these photos. And also then you've got the trailing edge and the, the tip at the bottom, which all is useful for ruling out what species or if this is even a shark. But that's why I'm putting it to you guys. I did put this on Instagram and it was quite close to be fair. So what happened and where did this happen? Goring by sea, or Goring as I believe it's known in West Sussex, which is the south of England. James Venn was out on the beach when he saw various seagulls sort of hovering over stuff, which is not uncommon, sort of about 40 metres out didn't think much of it had a bit of a chat to a nearby dog walker who said oh there's some there's some seals juvenile seals so james nipped back to his car and got his 300 mil uh, zoom lens and if you look at his where his position was and i'll show a picture you can see why he was quite far out and a zoom lens would be handy so yep yeah, he snapped a few shots of what he believed was a seal at the time and i'm on the fence because bearing in mind seals are known to sleep in the water which is called bottling they can just float along I mean, if I was a shark and I seen a, that's just like McDonald's drive through for sharks, isn't it? I'm going to present these photos to you guys and we'll compare against other mammals, other species in British waters that we know of and the great white. But I want to just see what you guys think, because obviously I have my own opinion, but it's all a bit up there. So what were conditions like in the day? So I've checked the photos were taken at 12.44 p.m., which was 10 minutes before high tide. It was a sunny day. The sea state, as you can see, few little waves the temperature i've checked on sea temperatures org was eight and a half degrees celsius i checked last year's temperature as well which was 7.9 degrees celsius so a little warmer but not much and certainly not summer temperatures for us so let's have a look at the photos and i'm going to use my phone because i need to look at them myself so i've used a reference point there you can see that there's a there's a wind farm and you can see that there's a boy out in the distance so if this was a seal bobbing around would it just be floating across the water i, I don't know but this this object and if you zoom in, it does look like a shark fin. It's hard to say without video evidence to support it. Like, is it rounded at the front sort of thing? You know, how thick is it, the depth? There's no reference points on the beach to, because you can work out distance. If you've got a reference point using what lens it was, etc., to work out approximate height, but there's, there's nothing there. And as you can see, there was a surfer filmed in the water nearby and a seal, I'll put those photos up. But yeah, when you zoom in, you can see that this object is traversing sort of left to right in relation to the boy out there. And it kind of maintains the same sort of structure and shape before disappearing. James did send me a few photos, but not loads. And bearing in mind, this is what, 60 meters out on a zoom lens. So we take it for what it is. But it definitely looks, it does have a look of a shark fin, doesn't it? Let's face it. First thoughts, I thought, oh yes. Yeah, could be a shark so let's put it up here and then I'll, what i'll do is i'll put other sharks here or other ant mammals that we know are in our waters so first things first let's rule out dolphins or porpoises uh, shark fin has more of a straight leading edge uh, excluding maybe the mako but a dolphin will sort of angle back on itself so i don't think i think we can rule out dolphin there and let's look at the orcas orcas fins are very tall uh, certainly reports of the john co uh, pod of orcas they tend to travel together. So I don't think that's an orca. I can rule it out pretty much straight away. Uh, plus the orca's upper body will be out of the water a lot more. So I think James would have snapped that if that was there. Now we do get basking sharks in our waters. 
<clears throat> but they're only really known May to October and it's well known that the vibrations from wind farms they don't like so the fact there's a wind farm in the distance that's not a basking shark the tail fin would be out of the water it's 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 not broad enough shape now I've got a short fin Atlantic Mako fin and they have been known to be in our waters through the winter certainly has a similar shape quite an erect fin moderately rounded apex nearly straight leading edge quite a short rear tip at the bottom very similar poor beagle again the mini great whites and if any of you guys have not seen any of my series i did a whole thing on what sharks we actually have in our waters which might surprise some of you it's similar to a poor beagle a poor beagle is more rounded at the top couldn't rule it out based on those photos and let's go with the the elusive great white which is what i'm all about i don't think it's a great white it's a similar look but we know great whites can operate in low temperatures eight degrees Remember the coldest ever recorded great white shark attack was six degrees in a sub-Antarctic island, Campbell Island. Or is it just a seal bobbing in the water? Like I say, I'm not here to sensationalize this or whatever. I'm putting it to you guys. You, you like this information. I love presenting it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments and uh, I'll always keep you updated with anything I think is quite relevant or interesting in the, in the, the realms of sharks in British waters. Stay safe and have a great week, everybody. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.